Hi, my name is Matt Vaughn. I'm co-principal trombone in the Philadelphia Orchestra, and I'm just here to talk about Ultimate Brass and their mouthpieces, which are the mouthpieces that I choose to play. And of late, I like to mess around and try different mouthpieces. Uh, generally, I have the Vaughn mouthpiece, a customized mouthpiece, which is a great general all-around orchestral mouthpiece for me, and I use it quite often in the orchestra. It's a little on the larger side, and it's I use it to try to get a fuller, bigger sound, and also to put out a lot of sound, because we do play with a lot of volume uh, and a big sound in the Philadelphia Orchestra. <laughs> But I also really enjoy my 4.1, which I play quite a bit, uh, and it's a little, little smaller, a little brighter, a little more focused sound. And when I use this quite often when I'm playing principal and want to get a sound that is a little more direct and projects well. <laughs> And they're great. I think they're, the company is doing great work and has such a wide variety of mouthpieces available and working with so many world-class musicians who all have their own little interests and little sounds and techniques they want to get from their mouthpieces. And the company is great at, at really adapting and making something that works for a lot of great players. So if you're looking for something that fulfill some need you're looking for, it's likely they've, they've thought of it and they have something to serve your needs. Let's, let's talk something fundamental, one of the most important fundamental playing tips that I'm constantly telling students and time also myself, reminding myself, and that is we want to make playing and your tone quality easy and steady. And quite often people think that that means that you control a steady airstream, and that's not a bad idea for sure, but I really think it's important that you take a big inhalation and then you just let the air go. Kind of a good analogy for me is that you have a baseball in your hand and you're going to throw the ball to somebody. You have a target where you're going, but you're not going to take that ball, get ready to throw it, and then you're not going to push it through the air. You're going to get ready to throw that ball have a target in mind and then you're gonna let it go and it's gonna go soaring through the air and you just let it go. So that's really important when it comes to playing. Take a breath in and just let it go. Now the resistance of the horn and the difficulties of playing will create resistance that slows it down but I'm not pushing the air, I'm not controlling the air, I just let it go very simple idea, but try to get that in your playing when you're playing notes. Oh, a little shaky. Let's see if I can relax. Whether I'm loud or soft, let's see if I can get it softer. Just try to minimize how much you're working and tight and controlling, like Why isn't it steady? Why isn't it steady? Ah, because you're freaking out. Calm down. Ah, that's better, I hope.